While Bowling Green is playing for the Mid-American Conference title tonight in Detroit against Northern Illinois, the other MAC, the Midwest Athletic Conference, is taking over Columbus in the state football championships. Last time Ohio Stadium hosted the state football championships, Minster Wildcats brought home a gold trophy as the Division Five title winners. Today, back at the shoe, Minster facing defending state champs Kirtland in the D6 title game. Wildcats taking the field with heavy hearts as they remember fallen classmate Austin Brackman hit by a car last week. Not a good start for the Wildcats. Down 7-0, first play from scrimmage. Josh Nixon rolls out looking for Eli Wolf. Ball pops up, Matt Grazia, the pick for Kirtland, but the Minster defense would force a punt. Late in the first quarter, Minster's offense gets on track. Nixon over the middle to Sam Dews, and number 44 blockers in front. Finally brought down at the 14-yard line, a 22-yard pickup. Couple plays later at the three-yard line, Minster with the reverse. Bryce Schmeezing coming the other way and into the end zone. Point after was no good, so Minster down 7-6. Next play from scrimmage, Eli Wolf forces the fumble. Ball is loose, and Minster's Hayden Schindler recovers it at the Hornets' 10-yard line. Ensuing possession, now in the second quarter. Minster ball at the three, Nixon to Wolf. Touchdown, Wildcats up 13-7. Later in the second quarter, Minster on the move. Nixon looking to pass. Ball batted up in the air, and Matt Finkler comes down with the interception for Kirtland. Hornets grab the momentum. Sam Skilgen, nice play action fake, hits a wide open Finkler, 48-yard touchdown. Kirtland goes in front, 14-13. Minster responds. Nixon to Bryce Schmeezing. Breaks a tackle and takes off a 63-yard touchdown. Wildcats go up 20-14 late in the second quarter. But there's time for the Hornets, and Kirtland comes right back. March down the field, Skilgen to Finkler, the fade. Minster knows that play very well. Kirtland takes a 21-20 lead at the half. Wildcats ball to start the third quarter at the Kirtland 22. Nixon to Wolf into the end zone. Minster back in front, 27-21. Move ahead of the fourth quarter now. Kirtland up by one and threatening. Adam Hess from nine yards out. Touchdown, Hornets up 35-27. But Minster not going away at the Kirtland three. Evan Hillsman. Gets into the end zone. Two-point attempt would be no good, so Minster down 35-33. Under five minutes to go. Hornets get back into the end zone. Hess, the three-yard touchdown around 42-33. Kirtland looks like the game's over, but Minster quickly moves downfield at the two. They go back to Hillsman. Another touchdown run. Wildcats pull within two with two minutes to go. Onside kick coming up for Minster. Darren Stokes feeling good about his chances. Jason Schultz squibs it, gets the big bounce. It's free, and Schultz recovers. Minster ball. Two plays later, Nixon goes to Eli Wolf over the middle. We've seen this play a million times for Minster this year. Shrugs off the tackle, and no one's going to catch the future Eastern Michigan Eagle. A 51-yard touchdown. Minster up 46-42, and that is the final score as the Wildcats win a wild one. Second state title, first one came in 1989, so you know what that means. No more sets of 25 push-ups for the Minster Wildcats as Josh Nixon, 26 of 41 passing, 417 yards, four touchdowns. Wolf and Schmeezing both over 145 yards receiving. Got to feel for the Kirtland Hornets. Two losses in the last three years, both in the state championship game, both to MAC teams, Coldwater and 12, Minster this year. Austin Brackman on the minds of the Minster Wildcats after their thrilling victory in the state title game. Kids competing, man. I'm proud of these seniors, these nine seniors, uh, just going out having fun, competing. They never thought they were beat, uh, and just kept showing up and fighting. What a, what, a, what a cool deal. These are two really good high school football teams playing their tails off, man. Uh, that was just fun. I was just having fun. I was good either way, winning or losing, just as long as you play hard and play like that. And, uh, found a way, man. The kids found a way. It's amazing. I mean, state champs, you can't get any better than that. I mean, this team just fought and clawed the whole year. I mean, this game was basically a telling of our whole season. It was ridiculous. You know, we just ran a little simple pattern where I came across flat and uh, a few bounces and, you know, came up our way. And like I said to the other reporter, uh, I mean, we had somebody up there in heaven looking after us. So, uh, <laughs> I couldn't be more proud of the way it turned out. Oh, I was thanking Austin Brackman for helping us out. So divine power helped us out. Um, I, the whole team really binded together. I mean, having a tragedy like that happen, I mean, it really makes you appreciate the people that you're, you still have. And uh, football kind of acted as a release for all of us, and it, I mean, it just let us focus. Yeah, it was tough this whole week. We battled through that, and we stayed focused. And we won this game for us. I mean, 
he, his passing was tragic, but we so knew we had our game in our minds, and we went out there and won it for him.